Hi everyone, PokerPro aces up here for PokerNerve.com with another quick tip video. A lot of the time in poker, you might not have a made hand, but a draw to make a potentially strong hand. So it's important to be able to quickly and accurately work out the chance of you making your draw so you can make better decisions. So this video, I'll show you a way to really quickly calculate drawing percentages using the two by four method. Check it out. So which draws have the highest chance of hitting? Well, you probably have some idea of this already, and you may have a system that you've used to calculate the percentages before. If so, that's great. What I'll be going through is my preferred system for accurately calculating outs and percentages. It's very easy, it's very fast. Some of the other ways of doing this will be discussed in the more advanced mathematical lessons. Um, but for now, this is a system that I use at the tables. So to make sure we're on the same page here, what exactly is an out? Well, an out is simply a card that completes your draw or gives you the best hand. So say, for example, with the up and down straight draw, you can see you have your four fours, you have four nines, so you have eight outs that will complete the straight. With the flush draw, we have any of the remaining hearts in the deck. Well, how many cards in the deck? 52. One quarter of them, or 13, are hearts. We have two hearts in our hand. There's two hearts on the board. So there's nine left of the 13. That's nine remaining hearts that will complete our flush. Here, as I said earlier, we have any queen or four outs for a gut shot straight. And in the last one, let's say you were in a situation where you were pretty sure your opponent had a small pocket pair. Well, how many outs would you have here? Bingo, six outs. To be more specific, the three aces and three kings. So returning to the question, which draw has the highest chance of hitting? Well, by looking at the outs, we can see the flush, then the straight, followed by the latter two. Knowing the outs is handy, and it's actually a first step to being able to make good decisions with draws. But what percentage is nine outs? I know I need any heart with a flush draw, but am I likely to hit? What percentage chance am I? There's a very easy process to convert outs to percentages. If you're on the turn, so there's one card to come, you times your outs by two to calculate the percentage. If you're on the flop, you times by four. Super easy. The only small catch to remember is that on the flop, if your outs are above eight, you need to subtract the difference between eight and the number of outs off the total, as you see here. Okay, on the flop, five outs. Well, five times four is 20. Six times four is 24. Seven times four is 28. Eight times four is 32. And nine times four is 36. Uh, hang on, nine is a number above eight. It's one above, so we need to minus one from the total. 10 is also above eight, so same thing. 10 minus eight is two. So we subtract two from the total and get 38%. Easy stuff, right? So what percentage are we to make the following draws we saw before? Now we know just multiply the outs by four, except for the flush, we have a number above eight. So do the nine minus eight is one. So one from 36 gives us 35%. Four outs times four from the flop, 16, easy. So that's a fast and accurate way to find the likelihood you hit your next draw. If this video was helpful, please click the like and subscribe button. And if you are serious about improving your poker game, make sure you check out my free MTT poker course, where you'll learn the three key skills to crushing poker tournaments and take your game to the next level. Thanks for watching.